What's the difference between glucagon and insulin and how can it help you in nursing school? Like many endocrine system hormones, glucagon and insulin tend to work as opposites, which is one of the tips I always tell students when you're studying endocrine to make it a lot easier. Study them in pairs. You probably already know what insulin does because we know a lot about diabetes. We hear about it all the time. It reduces blood sugar. It does this by acting as the key that unlocks cells so that blood glucose can move into the cell and get out of the bloodstream. And when we talk about hyper or hypoglycemia, we're talking about how much glucose is in the bloodstream. So too much insulin, then that means it's gonna drop the glucose in the bloodstream. The insulin is made by beta cells in the pancreas. Now another hormone that's made in the pancreas is glucagon, except these are made by the alpha cells in the pancreas. Glucagon is kind of cool because it does the opposite of what insulin does, but it does it in a few different ways. If you remember back to microbiology, you should remember about glycogen, which I always think of as like a suitcase for glucose. And the suitcases are getting stored in the liver. So glucagon comes to the liver and says, hey, time to unpack some suitcases. We need some more glucose. The glycogen gets broken down, transformed into glucose, and then blood sugar goes up, counteracting any effect the insulin is having. If there's not enough glycogen available, or if for some reason it's just not able to keep up with demand, then glucogen can also start the process of gluconeogenesis. You break it down, that just means gluco has to do with glucose, neo, new, genesis, beginning or creation. So it's the creation of new glucose. Also increases blood sugar. Now, how does this matter for nursing school? See, insulin and glucagon, they have a relationship. They balance each other out. It's one of the ways that the body maintains homeostasis with your blood sugar. But when one of them gets thrown off, say in diabetes, then your blood sugar can seriously take a hit. For example, in type one diabetes, the immune system is attacking and destroying the beta cells that are normally producing insulin. But the alpha cells aren't being affected by this immune attack. That means that the body's not producing enough insulin anymore, which means that the blood sugar cannot be moved into the cells as easily. This is gonna cause blood sugar to rise and you risk hyperglycemia. And there's still gonna be some gl glucagon available too, being produced kind, kind of constantly. And that's gonna be going out, unpacking some glucose in the liver, causing gluconeogenesis as needed. And that's gonna further increase blood sugar. Not a good combination. It's why it's so important to understand what's normal, because normal is a beautiful dance of homeostasis where the two work together in conjunction doing opposite things. But when one of them breaks, it's all over. And you can use that to learn to think like a nurse and really understand what happens and what symptoms you see in a lot of conditions. Get my free silver bullet study system from my link in bio if you want to study this way for yourself. And double tap if you found this helpful.